I'm going to play devil's advocate today for a little bit. And I say that because I know that many of you watching this tend to hold the position that the advancement of drone delivery is a bad thing for the hobby of flying drones. Now, whether that's true or not, the fact is drone delivery is going to change all of our lives eventually. And I think the next two years, we're going to see some very big changes in our skies. So today I want to talk about 10 ways that I believe drone deliveries are going to change our lives. And maybe not all for the better, because number five is kind of controversial, but our lives are going to change nonetheless. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. So we've been talking about drone delivery for many years now, and it's been a long road for a lot of different reasons, but we're getting to the point where more companies are starting to figure out how to make it feasible. And that's mostly due to regulatory advancements as Drone XL recently reported, the CEO of Wing stated that 2024 will be, I think, the first real year of scaling for residential drone delivery, particularly in the United States. Now, regardless of your opinions about drone delivery and how it's going to affect your ability to enjoy the hobby of flying drones, there's no denying that it will advance our way of life in the long run. Now, first of all, there's something that I need to talk to all of you about, as most of you know. The remote ID final deadline is here. After March 16th of 2024, drones that weigh more than 250 grams and even ones that weigh less than that that are used commercially are required to broadcast remote ID information when flying. Now, most of the newer drones have it built in already, so a lot of you don't have anything to worry about. But there are many of you that have been hanging on till the very last minute to find that perfect broadcast module and here are a list of the drones that are going to require a broadcast module. And a lot of you probably still have one of these drones. So speaking of the perfect broadcast module for the perfect price, Zing just released this just in time for the deadline. This is the Z-RID Lite. This is designed at MIT in America. It's manufactured in California, fully made in the US. And it's less than $85. It's a smaller, more affordable remote ID module that was developed for the casual flyer. Now, most drone pilots just wanna comply for the lowest cost possible. They don't need all the bells and whistles. And that's why Zing came up with this. I did a review on their Z-RID, the original one, and it's great, it works great, but it was overkill. And a lot of people were complained, like, I'm not gonna spend that much. So they went back to the drawing board and they made something less expensive and just as capable, the Z-RID Lite. It truly is a plug and play module. You put it on your drone, you turn it on, and it works. That's all you have to do. So check the link in the video description if you've been waiting till the last second to get your broadcast module. This is the most user-friendly and least expensive one that you can get. So what are the 10 ways that drone deliveries are gonna improve our lives? Now, some of these are kind of obvious, but some of them you may not have considered. And one of them is kind of polarizing, like I mentioned. So first of all, faster delivery. That's pretty obvious, right? Drones can significantly reduce delivery times by bypassing traffic congestion and taking the direct route to the destination. This is especially beneficial for urgent or time sensitive deliveries. Secondly, remote and rural areas are gonna benefit. Drones can reach remote and rural areas that are difficult to access by traditional delivery methods. And this opens up new markets and it allows for faster and more efficient delivery to underserved communities. Thirdly, cost effectiveness. I think there's still some work to do here, but eventually using drones for delivery can be cost effective, especially for short distance deliveries. It eliminates the need for large delivery vehicles and it reduces fuel and labor costs at scale. Like I said, it's not quite there yet, but it will improve. Fourth, environmental impact. Drones are more environmentally friendly compared to traditional delivery methods because they produce zero emissions. This can contribute to reducing carbon footprints and it promotes sustainability. Fifth, improved accessibility. And this one is a little bit polarizing, like I said. Drones can deliver small packages directly to customers' doorsteps without the need for physical infrastructure like roads and delivery people. You know, this improves accessibility, especially for individuals with limited mobility or people who live in remote areas, but the bad thing is it's gonna eliminate a lot of jobs. It's gonna take a while to get there, but I really think that that's gonna have a big impact. Next, flexibility and scalability. 
Drone delivery systems can be easily scaled up or down based on demand. They offer flexibility in terms of delivery schedules and they can handle multiple deliveries simultaneously. Seventh, emergency response. Now this one is my personal favorite. I think it's gonna be the most impactful. Drones can play a crucial role in emergency situations by delivering medical supplies like first aid kits or other essential items to affected areas quickly and efficiently. Number eight, by utilizing drones for delivery, there will be fewer delivery trucks or vans on the roads, leading to reduced traffic congestion and smoother traffic flow in urban areas. The bad thing is, again, less need for delivery drivers. Number nine, improve safety. Drones can minimize the risk of accidents and injuries that are associated with traditional delivery methods. With proper regulations and safety measures in place, drones can operate safely, reducing the chances of human error. Finally, innovation and consumer experience. It's exciting and it's something that's new. People are gonna love running outside and watch that drone deliver their package right onto their driveway. The use of drones in delivery provides an innovative and interesting experience for consumers. It adds a level of convenience and novelty to the traditional delivery process. And it's overall, I think it's gonna enhance customer satisfaction, at least for a while until we get to that point where it's gonna become so annoying that there's so many drones flying around. So hopefully, as we advance this process, they come up with a way to make drones more inconspicuous, like drones are noisy. And if there's gonna be drones flying over your house every 10 minutes, every 20 minutes or whatever, that's gonna become very, very irritating. So hopefully we get to the point where we won't be bothered by all of the noise pollution. So it's important to note that while drone technology has the potential to revolutionize the delivery industry, there are still challenges to address, such as more regulatory frameworks, airspace management, that's a big one, privacy concerns, that's a really big one, and the development of a robust delivery infrastructure. However, with the continued advancements and collaboration between industry stakeholders, the future of drone delivery looks promising, and I think the next two years we're gonna see a big, big spike in that happening in the United States. So let me know your thoughts about drone delivery in the comments. Are you looking forward to having your caramel macchiato delivered through the air one day? Or do you think it's a complete waste of time? Or do you think it's just gonna litter our skies with noise pollution? Let me know your thoughts. If you would like to support the channel, get access to bonus content, and be the first to hear about any product giveaways that I do, consider becoming a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month. Hey, wanna watch one of the most, actually I think it is the most controversial video that I've ever made. Watch this one right here next. I wanna thank you for watching the entire video today. Have a great day everyone. And as always, fly safe and fly smart.